President Bolatin about Monday said the federal government of Nigeria has saved one trillion naira in the two months since the removal of the petrol subsidy. Tinubu in a nationwide broadcast said this money, which would have been otherwise squandered by those he called smugglers and fraudsters, will now be channeled or channeled into intervention programs targeting families across the nation. We enable state to intervene to invest and reinvest in critical areas and bring relief to many of the pain points, as well as revamp our detained healthcare and educational infrastructure. The fund will also bring improvement to President Bola Tinubu, while briefing Nigerians on the current economic challenges in the country, said over two months, the government has saved over a trillion naira that would have been squandered on productive forest subsidy, which only benefited smugglers and fraud stars. I had promised to reform the economy for the long time good by fighting major imbalances that has plagued our economy, ending the subsidy and the preferential exchange rate system were key to this fight. This fight is to define the fate and future of our nation. Much is in balance. Thus, the fact in our economy immensely profited a tiny elite, the elite of the elite, you might call them. Acknowledging the hardship occasioned by an unavoidable lack in palliative measures these past 62 days, the president urged Nigerians to look beyond the present temporary pains and aim at the larger picture. Our economy is going through a tough patch and you are being hurt by it, I know. The cost of fuel has gone up. Food and other prices have followed it. Households and businesses struggling. Things seem anxious and uncertain. I understand the hardship you face. I wish there were other ways, but there is not. If there were, I would have taken that route as I came here to help, not to hurt the people and the nation that I love so dearly. The president also promised to get the nation out of economic turbulence through the measure its administration has taken so far. I, Boji Hoya, reporting for Ibram TV News.